Hey guys, Albert here from Two Cells One Pack. Now, some of you guys have requested for a follow-up video on the voltmeter that was just installed on our EX30 review. Now, the links are below, but this is a little voltmeter that is uh, capable of doing zero to 200 volts that can be purchased on AliExpress. They do come in a couple different colors depending on your preference. There's the red, blue, green, and white, I believe. Um, but you can purchase this fairly cheaply. A lot of them do come with the cables pre-attached. So what you need to do is attach the power, which is the black and the red, to a white three pin JST connector. And then this last wire is actually the signal wire. So the signal wire you'll connect to a two pin and you gotta connect it exactly in, at that slot. So just make sure that you connect these as seen here. Now on the EX30, it's actually quite simple. Once you have these wires soldered in and connected, if you come to the board and you take your display board out of the way, there's a couple extra slots here. So this two pin connector will go to a brown connector over here on this side. And there's a three pin connector here, which you can match this black three pin connector that's not being used. Now by doing this, for the record, I have unplugged the hall sensor, so it's gonna beep. But what you'll allow you to do is to see the voltage. Let me just unplug that buzzer. Now, by doing this, what you'll wanna do now is to take your phone and connect it to Darkness Watch or EUC World to see what the actual voltage is. So let me grab my phone. So I've got my phone here, and if we look down to the voltage, you'll see that it's 131.1, and you'll see that it actually matches up perfectly with the voltmeter. So in this scenario, I don't need to calibrate it. Now, these devices do come with varying calibrations, so you'll want to make sure that you calibrate it properly by taking a small screwdriver. It'll be a small Phillips screwdriver that is on the back here, and what you can do is you can turn this small set screw. Now, be very careful because when you turn the set screw a small amount, it does calibrate the voltage fairly quickly. So make sure you're turning it and looking at the display to match it with your application. Once you have this matched up, you can turn off your wheel. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to glue this screen onto the spot right there and as an example i have one for a master pro that i did so you can see that the screen is just glued onto this display you'll have the three wires and then you can plug that into your wheel once you've completed that the next step is if you look at your motherboard cover at the back, there is this foam. And so what you need to do is you need to cut this piece of the foam out. And this will allow you to see the voltmeter through the plastic when you are riding. Once that is all done, you can put your wheel back together and turn it on and enjoy your new voltmeter. Now in terms of the glue, sometimes uh, I like to use B6000 or E6000 glue. Uh, other people have used super glue or even tape to hold it in. So you can do it however you like, just make sure it's secured. And that's the end of the video. Short, sweet, concise. Now, if you guys have any problems or any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And otherwise, like, subscribe, and ding dong ding dong. See you later.